Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and happy new year to you all. Thanks so much guys for all the feedback you've been giving me on my last few videos. Um, I was so nervous when I went to Canada because I was thinking like, what on earth am I going to do when I'm there? Like what videos am I gonna make? Um, you know, it's gonna be so boring for you guys. Like I, I was so in my head, but then I had to remind myself like being, I've been a fan of watching youtubers for the longest time and i'm like hold on a second cage like you spend time like staring at someone making their room making their bed for five hours and you quite enjoyed it i've watched people clean their house i've watched people feed their kids so it's like <laughs> and i found it quite enjoyable so i had to really get out of my head and just be like do you know what yeah vlog yourself getting on the plane like someone somewhere will find it interesting i don't know um, so I do thank you guys for those of you who are watching and obviously you, you know, send your feedback. I really appreciate that. Um, so yeah, happy new year to you guys. So as soon as though I'm still in Canada, I ended up spending Christmas day at my friend's house and I hosted my first Christmas dinner, um, where I did two, uh, chickens because we couldn't find the large chickens. So I did two medium sized ones and I did stuffing, which was burnt. But the chicken was really nice and the roast potatoes were great. So, you know, I made up for that. Um, and yeah, I ended up spending New Year's Eve um, again with my friends. And what we decided to do was just literally do a bit of a pajama thing and a midnight breakfast, which was so nice. And so it was a real chill one. Um, of course, it's a lockdown all around the world. So we couldn't really go anywhere um, or do anything. Um, I did feel sad a little bit on Christmas Day because it was the first Christmas that I've had like and I wasn't with my mum so I just you know my heart was like oh, you know and I was gonna fly back especially when I heard that London had gone up a tier I was like no I'm flying back but my mum basically convinced me to like stay so I did and she had a really good Christmas and what I did on Christmas Day actually was I was checking the hashtag alone at Christmas because I wanted to just like stalk people and maybe send them messages if I saw like any sad faces. Um, I did a few like hearts and likes on people's pictures, but for the most part, I was pleasantly surprised because a lot of people were soldiering it and were like fully taking pictures with their cats, smiling and, you know, and actually I saw a lot of positivity. I saw a lot of people saying things like, you know, it was a better Christmas than they expected. Um, I know for me, like I said, I was feeling a bit like, you know, missing my mum and, you know, it was way better than I thought it was going to be. So I really hope it was for you guys too. I really do encourage you guys to invest in, in a diary because it really is so therapeutic. I bought a few of my friends' diaries and, you know, there are times where some of my friends are just like, I'm just not really a writing type of person. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. But say the only thing you feel like writing is I'm bored, then just write in I'm bored. Um, because even that in itself really is getting it off your chest. And if you're not really comfortable with trying to like speak to a therapist or anything like that, this is very therapeutic. And I really do, honestly, I swear by it, it works for me. And it really is like, you're, you're basically your own Oprah. That is the only way I can describe it. That's just a side note, but I really do encourage you guys to, you know, if you haven't got a diary, definitely invest in one. So what I like to do at the end of every year is I get my diary. I've been keeping a diary since I was in my early teens. And in this diary, I'll just basically go back to the previous year, same time, and just kind of read sort of where my head was at. And I'll look through and see if I achieved any of my goals. Um, a lot of the times I make goals for personal um, growth, um, like if I want to be more, you know, disciplined, more patient, whatever it is, I set those type of goals more so than anything else. But I think this year I really want to try and um, achieve some work goals. Like for me, I think that life is precious and, you know, I need to kind of stop all of this pussyfooting around and just not be in my head so much and just try, try, you know, and do things that I enjoy, like do things that I really enjoy doing. This is one of them, speaking to you guys on camera. For some reason, I feel like I'm able to just like be myself and it feels great just being able to, you know, express myself 
you know i talk to myself in my head all day so this is great for me <laughs> it really is last year i started doing one or two things that i'm really excited about and i can't let you guys know now but i will you know at the right time i wanted to make sure that i kind of started 2021 as best as possible um one thing that 2020 taught me though was that you can't really predict like what's gonna happen next like you really don't know you might have your plans but your plans like i mean they say that god laughs at our plans and my goodness me that is ringing true now to me so just you know prepare yourself for any type of you know plot twist one of the other things that i wanted to achieve this year was weight loss now this is a real <sighs> tricky subject because everyone's got their own ideas in terms of what they think is overweight um uh healthy whatever um and i just for me um, I've always been able to carry my weight, you know, well, meaning that if I'm really slim, you know, I feel like I'm happy with the way that I look. And then when I get a little bit more curvy, um, I also feel like my I, I'm still able to keep my shape. Now, that was until recently, in the last two years. I would normally do this diet, which was called the GM diet. When I discovered the GM diet, I was like, yes, this is like my thing. And it was really something that helped me to kind of keep you know the extra weight off but then it stopped working for me and i started going to the gym which was all fine and dandy until we went into this whole lockdown and then it was like i couldn't work out anymore just like you guys so um that really took a toll on me because i don't just use the gym for you know the physical side of things i really feel like it helps me it really helps me to you know feel Good. The food side of things, I don't know what happens, but as you get older, I don't know whether your metabolism slows down or something like that, but just everything that I was previously trying just wasn't working for me anymore. So the obvious was that I started putting on weight and my clothes stopped fitting. And now I'm at the point where when I'm walking, my knees are hurting. I can't run because that's just crazy. Like I can't, even walking down the stairs really hurts. And I was on FaceTime with my friend literally the day before yesterday. And I'm walking and I'm, I kid you not, I was walking for less than five minutes and I had to stop to like breathe. My last doctor's appointment, they said that my cholesterol was a bit high. So that's how I know that I'm just like, mm-mm. Um, so I feel like my main thing is, is just making sure that number one, I feel really good in my own body, that I'm healthy, you know, that I stay within my BMI for my height and my age. But that's kind of like where my goal is um, right now. And the ways that I'm trying to do it is just by doing like, you know, a few days of intermediate fasting, just making sure that I'm not overindulging and stuff. There's not much I'm really gonna cut out um, because I just have to, I really love food and I'm gonna be completely honest. I just feel like, you know, me trying to, you know, be super, super strict to myself. It's never, I'm, you know, if I don't enjoy doing something, then it's not gonna give me the results that I want and I have to enjoy it. And now that it's a fresh new year, for some reason, like, in my mind it's just clicked and i'm like actually do you know what yeah case you're gonna you're gonna you know try and get to your goal and try to be disciplined and that will then um help me to be disciplined in other areas as well i also want to read more i've got so many books guys and all these books have been read halfway through and then for some reason i get distracted i move on to another book um, i actually want to finish a book this year i want to spend more time with just my spirit trying to, you know, read things that really like lift me up, try to do more affirmations um, and just things of that nature as well. I actually really want to spend time investing in others this year. Um, I don't know, but in 2020, I really, you know, I felt compelled to sort of help, you know, other people in a way. I mean, I've always helped people, but just, um, I just really felt inspired to just really kind of like invest my time and my energy in helping other people. And so I really want to try and find something this year, whether it, you know, I don't really mind what it is. So I don't know whether that is like, you know, someone who really wants to sing or, you know, like at homeless shelter, whatever it is, I really want to invest my time in just kind of like taking my eyes off myself and just kind of really you know investing in another person i'll let you know as it sort of pans out so yeah for me like that is you know my new year's resolution but i do want to point something out 
there are times where we actually don't know what we want to do and I find that you know there's so much pressure put on ourselves and then by the time we hit the end of January middle of February we kind of give up and we're just like oh you know I didn't do it then so why do it now um, and I'm going to tell you why you should continue on this journey of of figuring things out because um, what's interesting is that when I launched the channel this channel it wasn't until like what the middle was that May I think it was May or June I don't know but basically it wasn't at no midnight it wasn't at <laughs> it wasn't at you know January it wasn't on January 1st basically so that should just show you that as time goes on and as things happen you can definitely adjust your timing of when you want to start stuff um yeah so don't feel pressured to try and figure things out in these next like 10 days or whatever or if you didn't um i think just take the time to sort of think about the things that you want to do and yeah have fun with it so i think overall 2020 i would say as terrible as it was you know if we made it through to the other side i definitely feel like we're all soldiers and we can get through anything so yeah guys i just wanted to touch base with you and just wish you an absolute fantastic year this year roll with the waves you know when waves come just like ride the wave and try your best to just keep as optimistic as possible i know that sometimes it's easier said than done um but honestly if you could get through 2020 then we can get through 2021 and hopefully this virus will pass and everything will be as normal as possible so guys let me know in the comments how you guys enjoyed your christmas and new year let me know what you did let me know what you ate um if it was a great new year if you were bored out of your mind <laughs> thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed already make sure you do now and hit the like button remember we get better not bitter and i'll see you in the next video